Hello, Columbia, and welcome to City View, where we give you a close-up view of the city of Columbia. I'm your host, Leisha Utsi. In our top story, the Public and Media Relations Department was proud to announce this year's Hashtag Love Columbia Photo Challenge winners. The winners were introduced at a recent city council meeting. The annual Love Columbia Photo Challenge is sponsored by the City of Columbia's Public and Media Relations Department. The challenge invites citizens to submit photographs via social media sites, including Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Through the process, other citizens can then vote on their favorite photographs, and at the end of the contest, a selection is made of a winner who has received the most votes online. This particular picture was um, uh, the famously hot New Year's Eve celebration on Main Street and uh, this was during the finale during the fireworks show. Uh, this is from the uh, Riverfront Park, uh, the, one of the train trestles. That's kind of one of the things I really like um, about just the whole Riverfront, um, the Riverwalk area, is just the bridges, the train trestles. Um, and every time we go for a walk out there I end up taking a picture. This picture was taken at Soda City, which happens every Saturday in our fair city, and I am standing with Ernest Lee Tees, who's a very famous local artist. He does sort of yard art. Chicken Man is his nickname. The Mayor's Drills and Skills initiative was recently held throughout the City of Columbia's various parks. Um, over the past five years, we've done some truly remarkable things together in this city, uh, but nothing gives me more personal pride and to stand here today uh, because to me nothing is more important. We believe that every child, every single child, regardless of race, heritage, ethnicity, or creed, regardless of what social status they belong to, what zip code they're born in, every child deserves to be loved, to be cared for, to be engaged, encouraged, challenged, and protected. The Columbia Housing Development Corporation recently held a ribbon cutting ceremony for new homes in the Lion Street community. PR and media reporter Jessica Gunter recently caught up with Gloria Said, who is the executive director for the Columbia Housing Development Corporation. Thanks, Leisha. I am here with Gloria Said. Could you tell us a little bit about the ribbon cutting that took place this morning? Yes, uh, today we celebrated the ribbon cutting ceremony for six new houses that the Columbia Housing Development Corporation recently built here in the Lion Street community. Okay. Why do you think that it is important to keep building the community up? It's very important because the community is one of the areas around the city that has not seen a lot of activity as it relates to new construction or even sales of houses. And we know that there are a lot of great things going on around Columbia as it relates to housing, but a lot of it is your higher end. And so we wanted to make sure that we continue to build houses that were affordable to folk. You know, a lot of folk who work and make, I'd say between 28 and $34,000 a year, those folk want to buy houses as well. And so this is something that we've built that's affordable and they can actually take advantage of that and become homeowners. Thank you, Gloria. Back to you, Alicia. The new homes in the Lion Street community have been very popular. After citizens and media were able to take a tour, there was also an open house for employees of the City of Columbia.
In addition to building new homes, the City of Columbia is also rolling out new recycling carts. The City of Columbia's new recycling carts hit the street recently, and Mayor Steve Benjamin, Councilman Mo Badura, and the Recycling Wizard were on hand to greet citizens personally and roll the new carts up to their doors. For more information about this new recycling initiative and ways that you can recycle more, contact the City of Columbia Solid Waste Division at 803-545-3800 or visit the city's website at columbiasc.net. Have you heard about the new pay-by-phone parking system? Well, the City of Columbia has launched a new pay-by-phone parking system that will make it much more convenient for motorists. Uh, this is a great service that's also offered in, in several large cities all across uh, North America, uh, Chicago, uh, Toronto, Boston, uh, and Salt Lake City among them. Uh, and Passport has now officially launched the city of Columbia's custom mobile uh, ticketing app uh, as well, uh, catch the comment through all the Central Midlands uh, transit lines. But now um, we're here to announce that Passport will be available on all of the city's 4,300 parking meters. Of course, the, uh, the benefits of Passport will be able, to, you'll be able to pay for parking without having to go to the meter. You receive reminders that when your time has expired and extend time from your phone, you're able to keep track of all your parking history and keep your parking costs consolidated by setting up a pre-funded account. As many of you have been anticipating, the name of Columbia's new baseball team has now been announced, along with an image of their new logo. You know, um, we're here, and the reason uh, why, uh, yes, we did advance this idea um, so aggressively over the last few years is because we do believe that Columbia is more than just a city, it's an idea. Uh, the idea that we as a people are more than the sum of our parts and that our greatest strength lies in our faith, not just in ourselves, but in one another. Uh, this faith, this dedication to one another has proven itself time and time again, echoing throughout the proud history of this great city. It was this faith that peacefully led us through the civil rights struggle while so many other cities erupted in violence and flames. It was this faith that opened our homes and our hearts to the victims of Hurricane Katrina nearly a decade ago and refugee children fleeing persecution, abuse, and human trafficking just last year. It was this faith, rather, it is this faith uh, that sees our communities reaching out to one another whenever tragedy strikes, so that should the weight become too heavy, uh, someone is there to share the load. Should we ever lose our way, someone's there to lead us back, and should circumstance lay us low, someone's there to raise us up. Uh, that is what it means to find shelter under the wings of Columbia, and that's what this great team exemplifies. Uh, it's more than what we believe, it's who we are. We're one city, uh, we're one people, and we're one great Columbia. Bull Street will be a spot for all of Columbia to congregate. At its heart, a ballpark where generations will gather. New venue, shining a new light in our city. With this new place, a new team, representing all of Columbia and the Midlands. A team with an identity inspired by this togetherness. A community working as one, unified, synchronized. The community will come together at Spirit Communication Park next spring and every year thereafter. Just as the phenomenon in Congaree National Park occurs each spring, where a unique species of fireflies synchronize their glow, lighting as one. A beacon of light, a symbol of togetherness and unity. The Columbia Fireflies. The Firefly, a symbol of that unity, an icon representing the fire, heat, and passion for which Columbia is known. A name that recalls summer in the South, Nights on the porch or in the backyard with friends and family. A name that will echo from the ballpark throughout the Midlands. And representing our famously hot city and its team's name, the C and the F come together as a flame. 
our chests will proudly bear our name. Representing our team. Representing our city. The Columbia Fireflies. The team of the Midlands. Capital and center of our proud state. The city's public and media relations team had the National Night Kickoff well covered. Justin Stevens, our field reporter, tells us more about the kickoff event and he had a chance to talk to some city officials and some citizens. Thanks, Leisha. I'm here with Skip Holbrook at the National Night Out Kickoff. Skip, tell me about this night. Well, this is my second, second experience with Columbia's National Night Out. Um, last year was uh, quite an experience for me. Uh, the, the level of participation we see throughout the city is uh, something like I've never seen. This year I think it's going to prove to be even more meaningful for us as a police department um, just because of the recent events that we've seen nationally and within our state and locally. Um, what an opportunity for us to celebrate our, our rich partnerships collaborations and relationships we have with our citizens and our neighborhood organizations. So we're very excited to be here tonight to uh, celebrate this kickoff for uh, National Night Out 2015. Well, it looks like Justin was having a lot of fun at the National Night Out kickoff, but the fun did not end there because on Tuesday, August 4th, the fun, entertainment, and music moved into the city's neighborhoods. We share with you photos from our photo gallery where we took photographs of images across the community at various National Night Out activities throughout our city.
thank you for joining us for this episode of City View. We appreciate you viewing City TV, where you get all the latest news and information from the City of Columbia. We also encourage you to follow us on our social media sites, and you can always check our website, columbiasc.net, for all city information. Thank you for watching, continue to be viewers, and remember that we are Columbia.